The action out here and the activity inside a cell are both regulated by a membrane. Erica? Well, that's right, Darren. Let's take a look at that cell membrane right now. Roll tape. The membrane that surrounds a cell protects it and isolates it from the outside, from its external environment. Okay, freeze it there. This is the membrane. It encloses the cell, keeps it stable inside. Exactly. The membrane regulates the materials that enter and leave. It allows certain molecules and ions to cross into the cell or move out of it. And because it only permits certain materials through, the membrane is called semipermeable. But the question is, how do these substances get across that membrane? Let's go live to the lab. To answer that question, we have to concentrate. Clue. Molecules are always on the move, bumping into each other, spinning out, and diffusing. They move from areas of higher concentration into areas of lower concentration. Where there were less of those molecules to begin with. Until they're evenly spread out. Like the aroma of fresh coffee. The sugar that dissolves in it. Or the thermal energy that flows from the hot cup to my cold hands. Molecules move down a concentration gradient. This slide is like a gradient. It has a slope. And it doesn't take any extra energy to move down a slope. The molecules simply move on their own down the gradient. But with a cell, there's still a membrane in the way. Remember, a cell membrane is semi-permeable. You've got it. A semi-permeable membrane allows certain materials to diffuse right through it, called passive transport. Passive transport, no energy added. Dissolved chlorine fuses throughout this pool. But there's another molecule in here that can also diffuse. H2O, water. Water molecules also diffuse down a concentration gradient. When they cross a membrane, it's called osmosis. So osmosis is actually diffusion of water molecules across a membrane. From an area where there's more water to where there's less. Down a concentration gradient. That's right. Here's an example. These are red blood cells under no conditions. Their external and internal environments have the same concentration of dissolved molecules. But the external solution becomes more concentrated that means it has less water than inside the cells. So our molecules move out of the cells by osmosis. And the membranes of the blood cells become wrinkled. When the outside environment is less concentrated, water moves into the cells, causing them to swell or expand, and possibly rupture. Diffusion, osmosis, and the concentration gradient all result in materials moving into and out of the cell through semi-permeable membrane. There's no additional energy required, and that's why we call it passive transport.